Hello and welcome to Caravan Escapades. I hope everybody's keeping safe and well. Um, what I want to do today is show you how to change the um, 13 pin plug on top of your caravan. In fact, let me just take this off here, give it a bit of spend, not on top of your caravan, what am I talking about? 13 pin plug. Now, let me just try and record a bit here. So this is our 13 pin plug. Um, you can see the cables are starting to pull out. I don't believe this one has an internal clamp in it. Um, we find that this bit seems to sort of this plastic bit here seems to pop off quite easy when I'm trying to fit it. Um, it's getting a little worn. So what I want to do is repair or replace that. So I'm going to try the best I can to do as much that you can see, hence the camera around my neck, that sort of stuff. So let's crack on. Let's see how we get on. So I just need to interject slightly here. Um, I recorded this vlog oh, well over six months ago and I was in two minds whether to put it out or not. Um, there's some problems with the camera angles um, and I've made a couple of mistakes in there. Um, the problem I had was that you don't very often change your 13 pin plug and I wanted to record it again for you. I didn't realize about a lot of these till, things till I got back home. Uh, to give you an example, I've got a camera mounted here looking down. Um, part way, you're looking at my front rather than actually what I'm doing. Um, so you know what, if you don't want to watch it, I'll be absolutely fine with that. You know, you can, you can scroll on. What I will do is when um, I get the opportunity and I'm going to change another 13 pin plug i will do it again i will do it properly and i will try and keep it a little bit shorter there you go let's get back to it if you want to carry on watching so i'm actually doing this um out without on a campsite at the moment and this may happen to you you may need to do it so normally what you've got here is you've got a locking collar at the back so generally the first thing to do is loosen that off and then from the body here undo that um, and then this gives you if you push that through there or slide that grommet back i think this one should probably come out as well hopefully you can see all of this and push that back there you should be able to kind of see inside. And you can see actually, looking at this one, this one's already started to get quite a bit corroded. And that's partially because of the way the um, water's gonna have been leaking in through the back, that sort of stuff. So I'm just gonna put these parts to one side at the moment. Let me just nip and get my iPad. So, so the easiest thing you can do, I don't know how well you can um, see that, but what I'll do is I'll put a link up in the corner here, I'll put an image up in the corner. So just search 13 pin trailer wiring uh, and it'll come up with loads and loads of diagrams. One thing to remember when you do get these diagrams, you must ensure whether you're looking from the back or from the front. Uh, this one here is socket viewed from the rear because that can kind of change things around. But again, it tells you on here, yellow, left indicator, blue, right indicator, white earth, green, right indicator, all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna keep that here um, just for reference. So if I put that stand out there, keep that there just for reference so what i'm going to do now actually first thing i'm going to do first is now i've got let me get a nice little flat screwdriver so in my handy trusty toolkit maybe is that a bit big uh, we can do with just a small flat bladed screwdriver i think this one might be all right let's give it a go anyway here's some drills yeah we'll go for this one anyway so Let's just move these out of the way again. So you can see, in fact, let's zip this up so you can see a bit better. So what I'm going to do is go in each one of these terminals. Gosh, they are rusted up. Hopefully loosen them off, each one individually. So that is the old plug all off now you can see that started to corrode now i've got a big bunch of wires here um, thankfully i've at least got the wiring diagram so i can remember what they're like and i think you know what i'm going to do um so let's, no, these don't seem too bad so you could take your new plug and you could 
Now, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do with all of these is because they are, um, and I'm lucky because I've brought crimp tools and things like that with me, um, what I'm going to do is just snip off all the ends. Oh, some smaller screwdrivers there. I'll snip them into here and clean it up in a bit. So just snip off all the ends like so. So we're going to end up with clean ends when we're done. Now you can see this is kind of what happens um, when you've got the screw terminals. Some of the contacts have actually just kind of worn through, so you're only using just a few of them that are left. So I think that's them all snipped off. Just get a bit more on that white one. There we go. So I basically snipped off all the corroded bits, so we've got kind of a set of wires there. Now, um, I am carrying with me a set of um, wire strippers. What I would suggest, to be fair, these things are not expensive, and I'm going to put a link in below for you. Um, I'll put a link down below for ones you can get off Amazon, that sort of stuff. And particularly if you're doing any wiring like this, is again, just to use one of these, and you see it just strips it off nice and cleanly so we'll go through all of these now and we shall strip them all off so you can see now that that is all the cable stripped so we've got those all stripped down now um, what you could do i mean i have got a new plug here um, this plug here the reason i've gone for this one um, is it does actually have Although it's very similar to the other one, if we undo this here, take that, make sure we keep all this safe, screw the back out. What this one has is this does actually have a cable clamp in it. Um, so I can get the cables in and then we can clamp that back up. So I'm going to keep these bits all separately here for the moment. So I'm just going to put those in there, the little screws for the cable clamp um are just in there as you can see this is the maypole plug um there's a bit of a diagram there on how it all goes together with the keyways things like that oh it's even got a little basic diagram for you and how long four to six millimeters how long you want to strip them back now in most cases what you would probably do at this point is literally just insert these into the bits here screw them up one of the other good things as well as you can see with this one is you probably don't know how well you can see that you see the numbers written that is a big help this one you can see the numbers but they weren't as great so having the numbers help so you could put the wire straight into there but what i'm going to do and what i would like to do is use up oh, that's just snapped off there um is use these um, some people call them boot lace crimps, feral crimps. So just clean that off there. And then we will take this, I think this red one is the right size. No, nope. so we need the next size up, which I think is going to be the black one. So we take the black one for here, that's it. Slide that in. And then we take this, where is it, where do we put it, just here. And then we take this boot lace tool, open it out like that, feed this in here, give it a squeeze. And that now has kind of crimped that on the end there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the rest of them and put those on. So I think that is all of them done now. So you can see, and you can do a little pull test, kind of pulling those off. Use the blur ones, slightly bigger ones for the larger cables. But what it does, it gives you 
something better for the screw terminal inside the plug to bite down on because if you bite it down on the kind of multiple strands it tends to spread them um, can often cut them that sort of stuff so it just gives you that little bit of a better connection so don't forget to take the bits of the old plug off I probably should have done that first so let's just take these old bits of plug off let's get those off hopefully it won't damage anything Probably should have done that first. There we go. And then the last bit is the old backing ring from the old plug. So there we go. We've got all of that. So it now comes down to fitting the new one on. So I'm going to refer back to my wiring diagram again. Uh, which is there. I'm going to put that just in front of me. And take the insert we've got here. First things first, making sure that I have a good screwdriver um, to, because I don't think the one that I used before, so let's take one out of here. I think the one I used before probably won't work. Let's see about this one. So if this one oops, a daisy. Oh, I'll pick those up in a minute. Drop two of those. Let's see if this one will do the job. Yeah, this one will work, this one will do the job. So, what we need to do with our diagram here, um, socket viewed from the rear. So, you just got to make sure that you are the right way round because according to this, so what you want to do is basically line up the um, connector just so it's the right way up. You know what you've got, where you are. So we've got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 I'm guessing. Just have a look here. Have a look at this diagram here. So that's 12. Yeah, 12, 8 at the top, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then we've got 13, 5, yeah, so okay, so we'll follow it through just and just take your time. So the easiest way to do this in all honesty is start from the middle and kind of work your way out because it'll just make it that much easier. So here we've got number one, trying not to lose the screw. So number one is yellow. So if we insert yellow into there hold that in give that a screw up give that a little tug to make sure it's not going to go so then four which is this one four is green so let's get green in there oh need to open it a bit more Four is green, so that's four in there. Tighten that up, give that a bit of a tighten. Make sure that's not going to pull out. No, that's in there. So four, so where have we gone? So we've got yellow and then blue in two. So blue into two. So as you can see what we've done is we've got three centre ones in. So let's start working way, remembering the orientation. Let's just put that on again. So eight is pink. I'm sure that's not, uh, eight is pink, yeah. So eight, which is, let's just be 100% sure. Eight is the one at the very top here. So we'll take that, loosen that off, let's feed the pink through those pins there like so. So feed the pink one into there and tighten it up again. So nine is um, orange. If I remember rightly, yeah, nine is orange, so that's the orange one. So let's put that in there. 
I mean, most decent plugs will come with a wiring diagram anyway, so it shouldn't make it too difficult for you. So there's nine, gone in there. Then 10 is gray. So let's follow 10 around there. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Biggest cardinal mistake, and you're probably all screaming at me, I need to take all of this off again. Oh, no, that's one of the pins just dropped. So, yeah, I made that mistake. What did I forget to do? I forgot to put all the back section of this plug on. So, um, we need to put this on first. We need to get all that through there. That's because I'm thinking about <laughs> you lot. So, that's there. And we need to take this grommet. So let's put that piece through there first. We might need to put a, through, a few through at a time. Like so. So let's feed that through and down over the cable like so. So feed that and then we get the little grommet bit. Again we might have to do that a few at a time. Oh that's a split grommet anyway, so I can put that on afterwards. But what I'm gonna do is make sure that I've put that on later on we'll put it there so we don't lose it so then we've got this rear section here that we need to get on so put that, put that rear section and we'll start all over again let's just get this screen back up so we'll start with number one again <laughs> Pink one, there's the pink. So eight is pink. Screw that down. Nine is orange. I think this is as far as we got last time, wasn't it? So nine is orange. So we'll get nine in there. My feet are going a little numb because I've been kneeling down and then in the last one black in number seven black in number seven like so and tighten that one up so what I want to do now so just make sure they're all nice and tight. What I should have really done is actually shorten these down a bit first. Um, just so we can get the clamp on here properly, the cable clamp. Yeah, they should have been shortened really. But I'm sure we can make it work. So if you're going to do this, kind of just measure out so you've got the right lengths. So because it will make it a little bit more difficult for me to put it together. But let's see what we can achieve here. It will just make it a little bit tighter with the back, etc. Let me just get a little cross head here for these. There we go. So, what I need to do now Let's get one of those in there and come and line it up there. Because you don't, what you don't really want to do is put the bends and the strain on the cable like I am doing here. So what I'll probably do at another point is take this apart 
and then redo it and shorten the cables down. So, that should go over there now. Be a bit tight as I say because I've clamped the cables up a bit. There we go. So that will kind of sit like that. Oh, that's right, I forgot to fix this. So we've got this split grommet here that goes in there. And then we tighten that one on like so. Get through all that it's coming through the back there, nice and tight. So there is a way to align this. I don't know whether you can see in here. Let me move this around for you. So you've got these kind of keyways here. You've got the big black keyway on there. So we want to line that keyway up, which isn't do which it isn't doing. Yeah, so that's lined up now. So I'll tighten that, tighten it up properly. So the way I kind of remember with these plugs is where it starts off, so you've got the keyway there. The keyway wants to be in the center of those two. And then when you lock it in place, it moves to there. But when you go to insert it first time round, keyway in the center of those two. But that is pretty much the plug replaced now. So all it needs now is to get it tested. So I think what we'll do, the only way to test it really is to get the car over here and see what happens. So now we've replaced it, it's time to test it. So there is my socket on the car. So I kind of want to get that just so it's like that. And remember what I said about here, about lining these two up or lining this one with these over here. So let me see if I can get this set up so that you can see what I'm doing. I don't know how well you can see that, but we try the best we can. So you basically lift up, insert it in, give it a full twist all the way around and that's it on. Now, I don't know whether you just heard the ATC kicking in. So if you've got ATC it fitted to your caravan, you'll hear it engage just as you start up so that's working so that's a good point I mean the easiest way to test this really is just to turn on your lights turn on your indicators try your brake lights that sort of thing so let me just turn on the lights actually put the ignition on so turn on the lights let's put the four-way flashes on so turning on the lights we've got the side lights on the caravan We've got the light all the way down the sides. So the position lights are working. You've got your indicators working. So they're all working. And I'll get Claire to double check and test with me the brake lights, the reverse lights, all those sorts of stuff. So I'm quite happy with that. That's worked fine. Let me just go back to the car and turn this off. Let's do that and let's just go and disconnect that plug again. So it's the same as before. So let's just wander back down here. So it's the same as before, but lift the flap, turn and pull. Now you can store your plug in there some people do that's done but I don't I don't like to store the plug in there what I tend to do is kind of wrap it around here leave it here and then when I've got the towing cover in fact, let's put that back on you can't really see this I'm holding the camera and moving it and forgetting that you're not watching so so let me just stand that there like that and we'll clip that under here So you can see under here, I've now got the towing plug stowed away. 
in here you tend to find that it's going to be exposed to the weather and also faced up or with it pointing down you're going to get water running down the back so i tend to store it away under there so hopefully you found that useful um you can obviously test it yourself like i have i mean we need to test things like the permanent live and the fridge runs and all that sort of stuff but as you followed that diagram you've wired it all up correctly there should be no issues with it not working um you can get a tester to do it um you can also do it with a multimeter if you're experienced with a multimeter what you could do is you can set up your multimeter you know what each pin is that sort of stuff test it out go through all the different functions um if it's something you want to attempt at home great if it's something you're a little bit wary of please get an auto electrician to do it for you or if you want to do it yourself and then get an auto electrician to check it out but stay safe anyway i hope you find that really really useful i've made a couple of mistakes on the way there. <laughs> you know i started to put it all back together um, before i put the back shelves and the plugs on um, the plug uh, or the cables are a little too long so i need to go back and shorten them down i think if i wasn't here out on the site i would have done that so that's something i'm going to do in the future certainly when we get back home so Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Please give us a big thumbs up because that really, really does help the site. Give us a thumbs down if you didn't. Um, if you've ever considered subscribing, please subscribe because it really, really does help the channel and it doesn't cost a great deal. In fact, it doesn't cost you anything. So please think about subscribing. So thank you very much. Please like, subscribe and share. Hit that notification bell. You'll be notified the next time we put videos out. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.